This is InvestorIdeas.com, and we are talking today with Josh Vacher, CEO of CityGrow. CityGrow is based in Ottawa and is bringing guidance and choice to the urban farming market with particular focus on cannabis cultivation. To hear more podcasts, visit the podcast page at InvestorIdeas forward slash audio. Thank you for joining us on the show today. For our listeners that don't know the City Grow story, can you give us the background on how you started the company and what it's all about? Absolutely. Uh, thanks for having me, Kelly. I really appreciate it and uh, you know, excited to do this. So a bit of background on City Grow and myself. So City Grow is all about uh, self-grown cannabis. Really, it's an urban farming company with a focus on cannabis. If you look at the upcoming Cannabis Act that will be soon in force, a big part of that allows people in Canada, adults, to grow for cannabis plants for their own personal consumption. We're a business that's focused on helping people be successful at growing their own cannabis. We're going to provide a place that people can come to grow their cannabis outside of their home if they either don't have a space to do it in their home. They're not prohibited by their, you know, landlord, condo group, or property management company. Or lastly, if they just don't want it at home because they don't want the hassle or they have, you know, young children around or family members that they don't want exposed to it, we provide a a safe alternative. It's interesting on how this idea came to be. My background is all in technology, specifically in data centers, which is, uh, a purpose-built facility that's climatized that you use to hold uh, high-tech equipment. I was out at a, a Christmas parade with my family, and one of my friends who's been growing his own cannabis for years said, hey, Josh, funny thing. I'm really excited about being able to legally grow my own cannabis, but my wife and I are moving into the city and I'm not going to be able to grow it. I won't have a space to do it. This kind of light went off in my head, and I said, wait a second, I can build a data center for cannabis. So it's kind of taking my background, which is building these facilities, providing people a a better place to to do their business, only instead of their business being high-tech, their business is growing their own cannabis. That's fantastic. So can you tell us more about the three tiers that City Grow has to offer for consumers from seed to harvest? Absolutely. So what I just described to you is one of our three tiers. So we have three products that we're taking to market. We call it our farm, field, and garden product lines. So the, what I described was a franchise location. That's our farm product where we go and we build that purpose-built facility that's got a, you know, a warm, bright, inviting front of house for people to come in. You know, you're going to have to sit down and have a coffee. We've got an education area where we're going to teach people how to, you know, get better yields or what to do with your, your cannabis once you've harvested or even as far as teaching people how to create their own edibles and dose their edibles once they've created them. You go from there, that front of the house, you go back to the, the back of the house, you've got a, a warehouse that's been turned into the, the multi-tenant grow facility. And that what you see inside of that warehouse is will be multiple uh, shipping containers that we've fitted up to be uh, multi-tenant grow boxes. And those shipping containers are our field product line. So we're going to scale out the the farm with many of these fields. So as we get either corporate run franchises or independently operated franchise, as you need to scale up your business, you add more of our uh, field products to support more customers. So the field product is you know, a 20 foot shifting container that's been insulated, climatized, have all of the mechanical and electrical run and will have, depending on your configuration, somewhere between 10 and 20 uh, individual lock secured grow cabinets that have fully automated hydroponics if that's what you so choose or just soil growing environments. Those sealed containers are not just for the franchises though. We're also taking those to market and selling them to 
landlords of high-rise buildings. So if you're looking as a landlord, property management company, or condo organization, you want to provide uh, 365-day-a-year multi-tenant indoor gardening that's cannabis-friendly, we have a solution for you. So if, just like you don't want your tenants with treadmills inside of their individual units, you don't want them with, you know, big barbells and dumbbells that they're they're working out with and exercising at 3 o'clock in the morning creating a disturbance, you also want to centralize any potential nuisance that can come out of growing cannabis. So we're pro- essentially giving the landlords an ability to create a, an urban, a cannabis-friendly urban garden amenity. Obviously, you're going to have some people that are looking to grow their own flowers all year long or tomatoes or fresh produce. They can do that in the space as well. The economics obviously don't make sense as anywhere near the sense as uh, they do for cannabis from a cost perspective, but they certainly do from an organic and quality perspective. And lastly, <clears throat> we have our garden product line, which is an individual grow appliance that you would find in the field products. So all of our fields are populated full of the garden appliances, and we can either rent those to landlords of low-rise buildings or individuals that would like to have those product, the, one of those appliances right inside their home. The garden will be available in two versions, in a commercial or industrial grade steel, if they can pass the hammer test or a more aesthetically pleasing uh, in-home version. So it could either be, uh, you know, a polished steel or aluminum or even wood finish on the outside of the appliance. So that's what City Grill has to offer as of today. Great. So with all the products, do you supply the soil and the instructions and everything for make it easy one-step or three-step process to grow your own cannabis? We absolutely. So we provide everything you need except the starting material. So, you know, initially we plan to just support seeds. Eventually we may support people bringing in their own clones or seedlings. But we don't provide the seeds or uh, or clones to, to begin with. So we'll provide you, if you want to grow uh, by hand with soil, we'll provide you with the pots, soil, nutrients for every step of the way, um, you know, pH balance, water that is Ready to be consu- ready to be used. All of the equipment you use, the, the enclosure, and the the lighting infrastructure for inside, as well as what's most importantly, uh, a program and support to take you through that from start to finish. We're trying to maximize uh, fun and success, and and your your grams per watt does not equal fun and success, right? It's making sure people get a good high-quality product on their first grow and every grow after that. It's not about how much quantity. It's the quality of what it is, how enjoyable is the process, you know, how, you know, how, how they want to share that with other people. And we simplify that. And as you as a grower, as you get more confident, you can choose to become more aggressive on your growing and you can choose to, you know, take tips and tricks and tweaks to get more, but our goal is to, to make sure that you are successful when you grow with us and you enjoy that experience. That's fantastic. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are very excited about that product. As the founder of City Grow, you probably have learned a lot about cannabis cultivation and what to do and not to do. Can you give our listeners some tips on getting started or best practices if they're looking into growing their own cannabis for this fall? Absolutely. I'd be happy to. So you're absolutely, you're definitely right. I had to learn a lot about growing cannabis. And, you know, there's all kinds of resources, some really great ones out there. You can really break it down to a couple of simple pieces for success. First and foremost, you don't have to do anything to grow cannabis. There's a reason why they call it weed. It will grow entirely on its own. It's actually quite a hardy plant. What people do is they kill it, right? It's outside. If you will live in an environment and you have the space, outdoor cannabis is by far the easiest way to go. 
you look at Canada where we are, there's only a few times a year, a, p- a small period during the year where you can grow it successfully outdoors. But again, if you have the space and it's legal and it's safe, do it outside. Easy for you. Great. If you're doing it inside, which is where the majority of people are, because you can do it year round, it's too much love that ultimately is what kills the cannabis. Too much light, too much water, and too many nutrients. People don't realize, okay, I can't give it too, I can't give it enough light to match the sun. Wrong. People burn their plants. Number one problem. Number two, water. Well, plants need to be watered every day. Actually, no. Your cannabis plants, it's very healthy for them to dry, almost completely dry out every couple of weeks. You think about the middle of the summertime when you've got plants that are flourishing and, you know, farms. They don't get watered every day. Sometimes they go a week or two weeks without it, right? They, the, the soil around them, they draw the moisture from the soil, and it helps eliminate any potential bacteria growth or any other pests that might come up, come and live inside that soil. So you want to not overwater your plants. And then lastly, nutrients. You know, you're much better off to, to slow roll your nutrients. You know, take whatever you see on the packaging cut it in half to start with, and learn how to adjust it from there. The nutrient companies, from their perspective, they just want, they're just they successful when you buy more of their product. So if you're an experienced grower, you can use more of their product and get a slightly better yield. But you have to know what you're doing. So you want to start, cut it in half, and... Uh, you know, pick a new tree company that, that you believe with, with what they're promoting and bring that all into effect. And you know what? You'll have, uh, you'll have a very happy and successful uh, first grow. I love that. I think too much love should be a hashtag that we should uh, start out there for cannabis cultivation. <laughs> That's true. You know what? Let's, uh, we'll have to do it. You know, I'll, I'll talk to, our, uh, to our, our marketing team and we'll, uh, we'll start pushing that. You know, too much hashtag, you know, too much love. <laughs> there, there is so much of there is so much of a good thing when it comes to uh, loving your cannabis plants. <laughs> That's fantastic. So, with legalization coming up quickly and the cannabis sector flourishing (pun intended), what is the most <laughs> exciting thing for you so far that you've seen or are <clears throat> looking forward to seeing in the space? Yeah, you know, there's a number of things. Uh, you know, if, if we talk about personally. Josh Votor, you know, what am I excited about? Why why am I so happy to see this moving? Obviously, we know one thing about prohibition, and that's that it wasn't working. Absolutely was not working. Cannabis consumption was very prevalent. Only now, we're taking it, you know, out of the darkness, moving it into the light. But what comes with that, that I'm excited about, is that, you know, we're getting safe, consistent, you know, legal product available for consumption. Not only that, we're also starting to see all kinds of educational programs come online. You're seeing research that's being done, debunking of myths in and around cannabis. So, you know, you're bringing this over to, to where people that are consuming it, they can do it in a, in a better environment. People that are thinking about it and curious about it can learn about it with the right information. That, that's what gets the gets me happy about the direction that I see things moving. Obviously, from a business perspective, you know, you're seeing this big potential in emerging markets. You're seeing a shift from, you know, the, the black market, you know, organized crime over to, you know, enterprise and, and, and public markets, which is fantastic and great for our economy and country. That's great. And for investors or consumers interested in learning more about City Grow, how can they learn about you? What's your website and when will they be able to start pre ordering? That's great. So you can go to citygrow.space today. That's our website. So www.citygrow.space. There's all kinds of information that's available online for potential consumers. And what you'll find there is you can actually go and you can reserve a spot in our first harvest uh, at our our flagship first uh, franchise facility, which will be in Ottawa, Canada, company headquarters. Uh, you'll also be able to tell us about what city you're in and where you want to see a franchise pop up. Uh, there's a place for you to go and inquire about opening a franchise. And likewise, if you're a potential investor, 
this is a, a big business. We see a, a very a significant market opportunity and have a, a great aggressive growth, growth strategy. So likewise, you can either reach out to the phone number on the website or uh, fill out our contact us form to have that put in the hands of the right person. help you follow and track sectors, investor ideas has created stock directories of publicly traded stocks for investors to use as a research tool to start trading and investing. Visit InvestorIdeas.com forward slash membership to learn more about our stock directories and leading sectors. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the Investor Ideas website, and this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. Hi, 